Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and today I'm doing a suburban family home. Now I haven't really done anything like of this size before. I know I, I think my biggest build on my channel as of yet is my uh, Black Widow penthouse which was for X Urban Sims X. She asked us a little while ago to submit some penthouses to use for her Black Widow challenge and that was, I think that was the biggest build I've done. But this might top that, I don't really know. I think it might. Um, anyway, so I'm going to talk you through the speed build today. This actually Actually, you're not going to believe this. It, it took me six and a half hours to build. I had six and a half hours of footage in my timeline and I managed to condense it down to about 18 or so minutes. Um, and it took like all the clips put together. It was over 500 gigabytes of storage on my hard drive it took up. So as soon as this video is uploaded, I have to delete all those clips because... What happened through the build as well was I was recording a bit and then automatically like just stop and like my game crashed and I was like, wait, what's happened? It was because I had actually ran out of space completely on my um, computer altogether. So um, that's one problem with DX Story if you're looking for a video recorder to use. It is like amazing in terms of video quality um, and like ease of use, but it does take a lot of hard drive space up. So if you don't really have a lot of hard drive space, then I recommend that you delete your clips once you have uploaded them, like what I normally do anyway. Um, anyway, so that's enough of that. Let's actually talk about the build. So um, it is three bedrooms, two bathrooms. You can go ahead and head, oh my God, you can head over to my origin ID, which is real Thomas TV one and you can go ahead and download this. I think it came out to just under 250. 50,000 simoleons which I think was an okay price actually so the reason I think it took six and a half hours was because I was so so indecisive of what I wanted to do as you can see here I just going over the all these different windows trying to find something to use it just took me so many attempts to find something and I really really like I might found a window that I really really like but then it wouldn't be exactly like matching the other colors of the other windows if you know what I mean um so yeah that was a bit of a struggle but I think I'm really happy with how it turned out here. Um, and I, like I said, this was six and a half hours. So I did have to condense it down. I did want it to be under 20 minutes because I feel like that then is like too long for a speed build. Somebody suggested to me a little while ago that that's actually kind of an okay idea for a house this size. But then at the same time, I'm thinking, well, for one, I don't want to have to talk for 20 minutes doing a voiceover because one, I'm just getting a mess. I'll be reading myself and I'll just... I feel like getting all like lightheaded if I talk for a while, which is something that's actually like for some reason I don't know why. I just feel like I want to pass out. I actually have passed out. I want you to let me know in the comment section if you've actually like fainted properly before. I actually have two times. I, well, I'll explain my two like a little. I'll do a little story time about how I passed out twice. Um, I'll do that in a minute once I've finished talking about this build a little bit. So yeah, it did take me a while to find out what I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, three bathrooms. No. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, um, and I didn't what I wanted to do with the like the decking. Um, as you see, I was having a little bit of a problem of trying to get a gate to go into the back garden um, because I wanted the um, decking there, which goes on the front, then around to the back. I kind of wanted that, but I was like, where am I going to put a gate in here? So the, the foundation goes all like a mess with the fence. You'll see that in a second, unless I cut it out. I probably do, actually, but I do manage to fix it all in the end. Um... So the back garden, I did it in like stages, like I did pretty much all of the back garden and then I did the house and I came back at the end to do all the little lights and the um, the train paints and stuff. I don't know why I've paused here, please don't say my game's frozen, no it hasn't good. Um, and yeah, so here's the pool which I really like to start with, it is a good size I think, but then um, I thought that it was a little bit too of a basic shape so I did try to make it a little bit interesting towards the end and I did change that up a little bit and I also wanted to have like a big um, kind of like patio area where I had a hot tub and lots of like landscaping and things and it looks really really nice at the end and like I said I don't know if I mentioned this but there is screenshots of everything at the end because it does uh, I do have to cut out a lot here so yeah um sorry I'm getting a text here I'll just ignore that for now um so what was I going to say something oh yeah about my last story. so I've passed out twice before once was at this kind of like outlet center like shopping center um i don't know if this is something you get outside of the u.s it's not one of those things that i've seen these in the u.s before where it's like shops around the outside and a parking lot in the middle it's not like that like the parking area is towards the side but in the middle is kind of like where you walk around and stuff and then the shops around the outside if that makes sense probably not but you know so, um, I was watching a cooking demonstration. It was in, like, just, like, a tent set up in that walking area. Um, so, 
I was standing there, but we were kind of like late to it. I was with my family. We we're kind of late to it, and um, we had to stand at the back. It wasn't really something we were going to sit down and watch the whole thing for. It was just wanting to have a little look because it was free. <laughs> uh, we're just walking past and we thought, oh, well, look at what's. Yeah, so it was Chef. He was doing a cooking demonstration. So we stood at the back just for a little while, and I wasn't really feeling well that day. I have this thing with heat, and that I just can't be in the heat for that long. And it was a really, really hot day. It was like in the summer or spring, and um, it was really hot. And I was dehydrated and everything. And I was like, I was starting to feel a little bit lightheaded. And I hadn't passed out before that. So I wasn't really too sure of like, if I was definitely knowing, okay, I'm going to pass out here. Um, so it was a little bit of a weird feeling, to be honest. Um, so I was telling my mom and like, I was, I'm, I think we need to go. I need to go and sit down. She was like, yeah, we'll only be a couple of minutes. And then the next thing I know, I woke up and I was lying on the floor <laughs> in the middle of this thing with like a crowd of people looking at me. It was almost embarrassing moment of my life I think um and I was just so confused and I woke up and I thought oh like I must have been tired or something enough like decided to take a sleep on the floor well probably that's probably not a realistic thing to say because I was like how old was I hang on that's probably around 13 or 14 so I no, I don't think <laughs> I don't think I would be just lying down on the floor in the middle of a cooking demonstration. So, no, I, that didn't happen. But you know, um, I just woke up and I was totally confused. And then, um, I, what had happened next? Well, I like fell and I hit my head off the chair in front. It was all these like plastic chairs in front, and I smashed my head off the front. Like I think I cut my ear. Um, <laughs> what a lot of stuff. Um, the next thing I know, on my on the floor. And because, um, so I think it was my dad actually, because he has like a first aid thing. So he's like lifted my legs in the in the air to try and get the blood to flow back to my head. Um, and like the outlet owner was on the phone, phoning an ambulance. And I was absolutely fine by this point, like nothing wrong at all. My heart rate, once I got in the ambulance, my heart rate was like at like full. It was absolutely fine. But I was in the ER or a &E, whatever you call it, for like all day for like no reason so they could do a couple of checks. They were doing a thing, you know the thing, what's it called, where they do that little hammer thing off your knee and it makes you like your jolt, your leg jolt or something, I don't know. And they're doing that like, what's that going to do with passing out? Probably some medical explanation for it, but I had no idea. Anyway, that's it for that story and that was kind of doesn't make any sense. I don't really do story times that, that sort in my videos like ever. I always try to stay focused on the build. Actually, that was something I used to do a lot in my Let's Plays where I would actually, um, oh my god, please don't say we're getting lag now. <gasps> Oh no, I knew this would happen because I was starting to run out of space on my memory and I was like, oh, I bet I'm going to get lag in my builds now. And I was like, oh my god, please, I hope, well, in Sony Vegas I get this a lot where the playback screen is very laggy, but once I render it, it's fine. And I'm, we're about to head on to another clip here, please don't say it's going to continue, I'm so panicky. <gasps> oh my god, oh, wait, no. <gasps> oh, thank god. <laughs> I panicked for a minute there because I thought it was going to be laggy for the whole build. I don't know if that was just me for the playback screen, that was that you just then, that bit was laggy. It's probably going to gain during this build because as time goes on my hard drive's getting fuller and fuller and it's getting more like pressure on my computer anyway i'm talking about random stuff here let's get back to the story so um what happened after this well the next bit was actually at school i was in year seven i think that's like sixth grade or something hang on what how old do I, I think i'll be 11 or 12 it was my first year in high school and i was in like my technology lesson at like I think it's also called like woodworking and product design, like where you actually make physical things. Anyway, so I did like that lesson and to start with, I just wasn't fell that day. I just, I don't, I can't even remember what happened really. And the next thing I knew, I was like carrying like a big thing and I went up to my teacher and I was like, I really don't think I feel well. Is it like, all right, if I just leave or something? And there was loads of people like asking questions, like going up to the teacher and asking stuff. So um, I don't think he heard me straight away, but he might have, but like didn't really say anything. And the next thing I know, I'm lying on the floor again, just like what happened to the first time. And I'm lying there and there's like just all the class are like surrounding me. And it was so weird because this time I was like just lying on my back. Um, and so like I was looking up and there was just like a circle of heads like surrounding me. It was so weird. And then um, he kind of like carried me out of the classroom. I don't know why, but I'm so, well, he actually caught me because in that room it was like concrete floor. So if he didn't catch me, uh, I would have hit my head off that concrete floor and I probably would have went to hospital. Luckily this time I didn't have to go to hospital. I was still fine after it all happened. I just went outside, the nurse came and just did like a check over sort of thing. I had some water and then I think my 
I think when my dad came and picked me up and I just went home um, and that happened. So I was, and then I was fine. I went, had to go for a couple of hospital appointments after that just to get my blood checked and things. I think that might, well, yeah, I think that's what happened. Something right with that. Anyway, so um, after that, I've been fine and I haven't passed out since. I have had the feeling now and again where I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to pass out. But now I think that I've had it done a couple of times. I know like, okay, I think I'm definitely going to pass out this time or not. So I'll go to sit down and I just, you know, I think that's, now I've had it a couple of times, it's, I know what to expect, I suppose. Anyway, that's enough for that. We've kind of talked for the whole video about passing out. I want you to tell me your passing out stories or passing out fate and whatever you call it in the comment section down below. So let's get back onto this build. So we're onto the interior now. We've done a little bit of the interior and haven't talked about the outside at all. But do come back to the outside at the end because just wasn't that happy with I was looking back to it and also I did this over three days and I think I did most of the exterior on the first day and I was looking back at it and I was like, okay, I'm missing something here but I just don't know what it is. And I had like a couple of, I just looked back at pictures of the house and I was like, I don't know what to do with it. So um, I did go back at the end to fix it a little bit, just a couple of changes I did to the landscape, but just changing things around outside and stuff. So here we are with the inside. Um, on the bottom floor, there isn't any bedrooms or bathrooms. They're all upstairs. I've done the um, living room as you can see did a TV in a fireplace um, and that has like a brick like feature wall which I thought looked really really nice um, and yeah so I did the like dining room is a separate room and like all the downstairs pretty much is well yeah all of the downstairs is open in a way I used those open arch things as you can see there I just thought that was a nice idea to use instead of like closing off the house I don't know why I just thought the downstairs having it all open plan seemed like a nice idea so there is the dining room there and then we've got the like kind of like a bar room in the back and um, I try to keep everything similar colors I didn't want everything to like stand out like completely different rooms if you know what I mean with like all different themes so the downstairs is all kept like kind of like dark colors the upstairs I believe I use a different wallpaper but then I kind of tried like I think that trying to keep everything the same is a little bit bad in a way but I try like I don't know make my house more diverse in a way and um, so one of the bedrooms kind of uses a lot of vintage glamour items the other room uses like city living things and I have like a like a industrial style brick wall sort of thing and then I also have a kids room there as well and um, upstairs we've also got the two bathrooms like I said which are kind of kept more grey and then we'll also have kind of like a computer room or study whatever you call it I also have one of those there which are kind of like more of a darker colour as well so here we are with the master bedroom and this has one like this has its own bathroom with only one entrance, you have to go through the master bedroom, then into the their bathroom. And um, I thought that was a nice idea to kind of make that like a separate part of the house, so you kind of know it's the master bedroom, if you know what I mean. Um, so I kind of kept the, the colours here more lighter than the downstairs. This is probably my favourite room in the house, actually. It uh, everything just turned out perfectly. We've got a fireplace in there, big, big TV, big um bed, and just a vanity table. Everything it just looks really, really nice. I really, really like this wallpaper I used. I normally go with a very generic wallpaper that I always use in like every single build, which you've probably seen before so it is nice to do something a little bit different now and again um, and I don't know if you noticed but I have been having a big urge to do builds on my channel recently Um I think a lot of my builds it, well I don't know when this is going up I'm recording this on the 1st of February I'm not too sure when this is going up, but I have been recording a lot of builds recently. So um, I'm just I don't know why I'm just in the mood to do builds and I feel like my building skills are improving because of that Um just practicing a lot on builds like just doing a lot of them will improve your building skills after a while and um, also I didn't mention but I did get the building not building the um what's it called the um oh my god I can't think what are they called what are the it's curtains oh my god how could I not think of that word curtains I got the curtain glitch where it goes blue I'm sure a little while ago they tried to fix that in a patch but obviously it didn't work because I still got it to this day um but you know it wasn't a big deal it just kind of made the screenshots at the end look a little bit weird. Um, but here we are with the kids' room. This was very, very small, this room, so it was hard to try and figure out what to do with it. As you can see, I tried to use neutral colours because I thought you could do what you want with it, depending if you have a boy or a girl sim. So I just left it neutral so you can change it up however you want, if you do download this. Um, and yeah, so I think it may... I don't know why, but I'm kind of seeing more of a boyish type of feel to this room in a way. Maybe by the process, I don't know, but I think one of them just kind of changes that I don't know I suppose it is more actually neutral actually anyway moving on so here we are going well we're doing like the main um landing area then we'll go on to this room in the back in a minute or do we do it in that order no we don't I, I don't know why wait please see I actually included wait I think I did I don't know I can't tell um no oh god I hope I did manage to record that room because I did that today 
actually because I had what I do on Wednesdays I'm recording this on a Wednesday I go to school in the um, morning and then I have like a couple of hours break so I come home and then I go back for another hour so in the meantime I did do a little bit of this recording but I was having a little bit of problem after I did it, it like my game crashed but luckily I just saved which was like a miracle but it might have actually not recorded that room. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and see. Um, but yeah, the sitting living room I really, really liked. I hope I did record it because I was going to talk a little bit about it. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. But I did get screenshots. <gasps> oh my god. I don't... Oh my god. I don't think I got screenshots of that room, to be honest. Hang on. Let me check. Um... Oh, thank God I did. I was just thinking, I don't remember going in that room to do the screenshots, but I did. Never mind. Anyway, so what was I going to talk about now? I can't remember. Um, so, yeah, this is the study room. Um, and I really, really like it. It's just kind of kept the same colours as what I've used in the other rooms. Um, I tried to use a lot of... Well, I didn't... I kind of just felt like city living items were used a lot in this in this build actually. I used it a little bit and then I kind of just carried on throughout the build. I really really liked some of these pictures that we got with city living and some of the rugs. Those were some of my favourite items with the pack. Yeah, oh my god, I did forget. Oh god. As you might have seen that room it is now decorated. I did I don't know why I must have cut out so much of the video. I ended up cutting out a whole room. Oh no. Well it was a really nice build that I like to do that room. Um it just turned out really, really nicely. So we are nearing the end of the build now. Let me know in the comment section if there is any other types of videos you want me to do in terms of builds or just any videos in general. It is really nice getting requests so I can actually make videos that you really want to see, uh, which I suppose is great. Um, and well, I mean, I'll only do the ones that I want to do myself as well, but that is nice if we both want to have that uh, video seen. Um, I was trying to put a, sh a chandelier there, as you've seen, over the stairs, but it was it just the wall height was small, which maybe would have been a is a bad idea actually but um oh well <laughs> the chandelier didn't fit even though that was one from vintage glamour and i'm sure that they said that in the live stream for it that it did work with every wall height but for some reason it didn't for this one anyway as you can see now it's just oh my god please don't say the thing is frozen i don't think it has i was just taking a break and i must have forgotten to take it out of the build oh well um so what i was going to say yeah i did save a lot during this build as you would have seen um i just didn't want to make sure i lost any anything in this build so i did continue with that anyway we are at the end of the video now i'm going to leave you with a screenshot i hope you enjoyed if you did please make sure you leave a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't head over to the gallery my origin id is real thomas tv1 to download this house for yourself i really hope you enjoyed it because it did take me six and a half hours split over three days to do this and i think it was really really worth the effort because i'm really really happy with the outcome so hope you enjoyed it we'll leave you with screenshots now if you did well i've already mentioned like comment share and subscribe if you haven't and oh one more thing this is my first video i'm recording since i hit 900 subscribers thank you so so much everyone who's been subscribing if this is your first video of watching mine from subscribing then I welcome to my channel my name is thomas i'm doing this like at the end of the video which is probably a bad idea but i'll do a proper introduction in my next video my videos are kind of all over the minute. I've got videos that I've made a while ago and they're still not up yet. And I'm doing videos, newer ones going up before that. It's a total mess my schedule. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, like I said. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.